Welcome back, everyone, to Live Now from Fox. We do want to keep an eye on uh, this uh, situation that continues to happen out in New York City, awaiting an update from officials on the man who set himself uh, on fire. And right now we are getting some witness sound. So let's play that out as uh, we wait for the police to give their official update. For the dystopian of the Trump era, I have been taking pictures of Trump supporters, um, many of whom are unbalanced. And frankly, this society feeds into a lot of these poor people. I don't know this guy's politics. Yeah. He seemed to be somewhere out there. Uh, he reminded me of men I had been friends with in my 20s who were on the other end of the spectrum. Uh, that actually was my first thought when he got up was he looks like people I used to I used to be friends with. Them. Thank you for your time. I'm so sorry you had to go through this and I appreciate you sharing. Julie, I'm sorry. Can you just Give us a explain to shot. me what you saw shot. that led up to this and how close you were to him? I didn't see, I mean, he was sitting on the bench for a while. He was, I thought the signs were his. He had two large, like, the ones you get, like, kids' poster board signs. One about some Ponzi screen, uh, scheme. There was something about Substack.com. Another one suggesting that Biden and Trump's were in cahoots and there was going to be a coup. Uh, and he was just sitting quietly, and he had a stack of flyers. I was going to get a flyer, but I didn't. And then at some point he got up. Right before he got up, I was I turned around and I took a picture of him. He stopped and let me take a picture. And then he got up and walked not towards me but towards the area where I was. And I realized that the I thought the, the signs weren't his. And I was actually going to say to him, "Oh, that wasn't you!" Like the ha ha that you were just sitting there. And then uh, he reached down and got like a, a big can, which apparently was propellant. I, I actually thought it was water at first. I like went through in my head was maybe he's homeless and he's doused himself and then threw his flyers and then he got the second can and, and yelled at me to run away, get away and, and let himself on fire. He told you to get away. Yeah, he did. Like I was, I, I mean, I wasn't actually walking that close to him. I was walking towards him and he yelled at me to get away because I guess he thought I was going to stop him. It didn't even occur to me to stop him. I, it happened so fast. Yeah. And, what did and you do also, when, huh? what did you do when that happened? When he took out the lighter, I moved back. I, I, did, I didn't know what to do. I've never <laughs> watched someone annihilate an <laughs> Ultimately, did those posters and flyers belong to him that you saw? That I'm, I'm fairly certain because there was another stack of the same. They were like pink and green right next to the posters. I, I'm not sure, but I think they were his. But one of the posters suggested something about Trump and Biden. Yes. Some conspiracy theory that this is all some ploy and there there's a coup happening. I mean, he's obviously not together. How old did he appear to be? You know, I don't know. He, I, I was thinking he reminded myself this whole time as you're sitting there that he reminded myself, me of, of, of young men that I had been friends with in the 90s, except you were on the, the other end who worked with, at Greenpeace with me. A lot of these young Trump supporters remind me of my friends, um, and he was one of those people who could have been 19 or 35 and anywhere in that age range. only words you heard from him were... That's all I heard. Somebody else said they heard him saying something about some family court judge. I did not hear that, and I think that was before. Yeah. Sorry, what did you hear him say? Just to get away when he took out his lighter. What did you hear? Julie Sorry, Berman. we can't hear. What did he say? He, he told me he warned me. He thought I was coming towards him, and I guess he didn't want me to get what either stop him or get hurt. He, to run away, get away. Was he wearing any political gear? No, he just said the two signs. I, I, I mean, it's... What did his signs say? One was something about Biden and Trump are like there's going to be a coup, like they're together was this conspiracy theory. And the other was something about a Ponzi scheme, something about, I think it had Substack.com was the end of the um, website, but I, I can't remember the first part. Oh, yeah, he's been here all week. I've seen him. He's yeah. been carrying a sign, the same, the same sign. How far away were you when you said until the fire? It's a sign that says something about how Trump and I don't know, maybe where that truck is. is. Julie, could you give us your full name? Julie Berman. B-E-R-M-A. All right, as that witness sound continues there, that was a witness that saw that uh, unfortunate situation play out in real time. Looks like we are still getting some more sound right now as we wait for NYPD to step up to the podium. Let's continue to listen to this we man We all now. started to run away from him. What were your first, first thoughts when you saw all of this terrible scene unfold? Uh, at first, I thought it was fake. I thought he was, I thought it was, uh, you know, he was, he was doing some kind of protest where he was going to, like, pretend 
to douse himself with fake gasoline. I didn't think it was real, but at the same time, I was yelling to police and people outside of the park that this guy might do something, like something's happening here. So were you like standing on the corner or like waiting at the street with your bike or were you like in there I watching I was in people? the park. I was, I was initially about, couldn't have been more than 20 or 30 feet away from the guy. Did he say anything? No, he just threw a bunch of he, he threw a bunch of flyers into the air. So did you happen to see the flyers? I did not see the flyers, and I wish the police would like show some of them to the press or whatever. Did you so. see anybody with a gun around? There's a report that there was a gun or somebody with a gun or something. No. No, there, I, there, I don't see any guns. You guys any gunshots? Because CNN falsely reported there was, that there was no was gunshots. So, so you were, you were standing no in the park, and then you were standing the in the park, and then you saw him like lift something. If you could just I think it was a lighter, uh, okay? What he did was he had a backpack. He took the backpack off, put it on the ground, opened it up very calmly, took out two cans, small, like half-sized gasoline cans, doused them one side with one, then he started to douse the other side with the other, and at that point I was starting to run away. How would you describe this male that was coming right after him? Like I wouldn't describe it. I mean, it was fire, fire extinguisher, and, and he, he was, it seemed like he was burning for like five minutes. It's probably less than that, but it seemed like a long time. Hey, by the way, can you share with us your name? Do you think it was a political statement or like anything? It's some kind of statement, and since you're the press, you can go find out by finding those flyers and like figuring out what those flyers are about. Can you, That's the political statement. Can you give Once us your name? Said, your name? My name's Fred Gates. How, how do you spell Gates?